Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi my name is Stephanie. Um, today I'm doing a full face first impressions type, like using all my brand new products that I just got. So uh, yeah, I used everything was brand new that I liked. Um, as I said in my outro, I will let you guys know in the description bar, bar below how it all worked out throughout the day and if it stayed and if it didn't work, but things like that. So far, everything feels fantastic. It feels super lightweight. I am definitely in love with this palette, though. These colors blend out beautifully. Beautifully. I cannot wait to play with this some more. But, um... Don't forget to hit the little bell down below so you can get notified whenever my videos come up. I do post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And enough rambling. Let's get on to this video. Hello, my loves, and I have a clean face, so I'm going to start off by moisturizing my lips with the Insana Sweet or Lip Butter and Sweet Caramel. I am going to be pulling my mirror closer to me, so sorry that you can see that. The so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my face using the Morad. I can't say this. Morad. Morad. Invisiblur Perfecting Shield. It feels super smooth. Hopefully it'll take away all my pores. <laughs> For my foundations today, I'm going to be trying out the Anastasia ones, the ones that I got before. I'm going to use the shade Ivory and I'm going to contour and highlight with Banana and Fawn. I'm going to do half my face first because why not? Then I'm going to go in with my Sigma F80. It's not bad to blend out. I mean, people said this foundation was hard to blend. It's blending beautifully. Oh, I look super pale. <laughs> Obviously, this is a little light for me, but we'll make it work with bronzers and stuff. I mean, other than that, it is actually a great color match. I'm pretty pale right now, so. I really like this foundation brush. That um primer <laughs> is working like... I'm looking up right now, and normally you can see like all my pores, like when I use stick foundations for some reason, even normal foundations right now, I have a lot of like texture on my skin that you are able to see as soon as I put on foundation, but doing that actually, it hides it very well. I'm actually quite impressed with that. So far, first impressions on this foundation is that I like it. It blends out really nice. I am going to conceal some spots. I'm going to go in with some of my Morphe concealers. I think I'm going to go between Oats and Nude. I have a lot of like breakouts right now. For some reason, I cannot explain why. Oh, that's darker, so. This is a learning experience. <laughs> I'm just gonna take my damn beauty blender and blend that in. The coverage isn't bad. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. It blends out really nice. It doesn't feel like super heavy. You can still see this little, little, little guy right here. Let's, should we name him? I'm just going in with my sharp tape. I can't, tart shape tape concealer. Whatever 
going to be saying it the other way. I don't know why. For some reason, it's... So I'm going to contour using the shade Fawn. And I think I am going to highlight a little bit using banana, just like on the forehead, right here, and right there. And sorry, my audio sucks, but I don't have what I need yet, but I'm getting there. And I'm going to blend this all out with the Beauty Blender. Let's see if it works. Actually, the Beauty Blender is working pretty well. Like, when I'm looking on the screen, I feel like it looks super stark and very harsh like there are a lot of harsh lines but if you're looking at it in person it's not bad so I'm hoping it's just my camera playing tricks on me and you're thinking Stephanie I thought you could do makeup I promise I can this blends out super nice for my nose, I do rub the Beauty Blender. I don't like pounce it, I do rub it. But for my highlight, I'm rolling it. I'm actually very impressed with like my face right now and how it looks and that foundation feels very lightweight. I'm I very much like not to have, I feel like I have something super heavy on my face. I'm going to take my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just going to take a Laura Mercier cap. Spray that in there. And I'm going to set and bake underneath my eyes. Don't I look pretty? While this is sitting and baking, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to fast forward through that because I'm not the best at brows. But I will be using my Anastasia um, Brow Wiz and Brow Definer both in soft brown. My eyebrows are done. I'm just going to take the remaining of that RCMA um, No Color Powder and just buff this into my skin. I'm going to wipe away my little fake under eye thing. impressions of that powder is that it's really good it doesn't like like crease super bad like sometimes you can tell that it's gonna be super cakey it is not super cakey which I really do appreciate and everything right now just feels super lightweight it does not feel super heavy or anything like that which I'm very much a fan of right now for bronzer, it's nothing new. I'm going in with my Hula bronzer. It's like, can you see that? There's barely anything in there, but I'm going to use it up. I'm just going to take a duo fiber brush. Swirl that in there. Tap off the excess. You can still see this pimple, man. It's breaking through. I feel like I should name it Drizelle. We're naming it Drizelle. Once that is all blended in, I guess we're gonna start on the eyes. And for eyes today, I'm going in with my Tartise Pro Palette. I'm gonna start in and go with this shade right here, which is bold. And I'm gonna take my Sigma E40 blending brush. Color is very pigmented. That was like a tap in there. And it's very blendable. I'm probably going to buy more of just these brushes. Sorry if you can hear my husband's video game. I'm just going to be taking this Sigma E70 brush and I'm going in with Classic right here which is this upper shade and sorry I'm trying not to blind you guys while I do this too. It's just this white shade and this is going to be my brow bone highlight. I am 
am loving this palette so far like these colors like I haven't even used a lot but they blend very well it's going to go in with this Bellamy uh, tapered blending brush and I'm going to go in with innocent right up here Again, I have no idea what I'm doing today. I'm just putting that in the crease. Sorry, I should be telling you guys what I'm doing, but I'm just layering that on top of bold right now. I think I'm gonna take this Sigma E36 blending brush and I'm gonna go in with Edgy right here, which is this dark um, brown shade. <laughs> and I'm gonna start in the outer V and like slowly cut my crease out. These brushes are super, like they're the perfect um, size to get right in your crease if you wanna cut your crease. And they're very soft. I'm just gonna go back in with my E40 blending brush and blend this all together. This is very close to like a normal day every look that I do, but because I had no idea what I wanted to do. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is ethereal. And I'm gonna try my new Makeup Geek uh, foiled um, shadow brush, because it is a foiled eyeshadow. And I'm just going to pop this all over my lid. Are these foiled or are these duochrome? Such a beautiful shade. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to go in with this uh, Sigma E30 pencil brush. And I'm going back in with bold, innocent, and edgy. And I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash line. I'm gonna try my little Veramona thing. Interesting. I mean, it's still dirty looking, but there's nothing on there. I'm just gonna take a blending brush. blend that all out. I think I am going to deepen up that outer um, V right there and I'm going in with this shade right here, Smoked. Just with that same pencil brush. I'm going to pat it in the outer corner. And I'm going to take that Sigma E36. I'm just going in with this, um, it's supposed to be a smudger brush, it's an E21, but I'm going to go in with this shade right here, Glam, and use this as my inner corner highlight. I think I'm going to go in with ColourPop uh, Dirty Talk, which is like this champagne-y color, and I'm just going to take an edge of a brush, and I know you guys probably hit this part. And I'm going to run this on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with ColourPop Brouhaha, which is just this dark brown shade. And I'm going to tight line my upper lash line. Part of me is debating if I want to do a wing or not. <laughs> so, Drizella, go away. You're getting bigger. I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm also not a big lash person, so therefore you don't see me wear a lot of lashes on this channel, which I'm very sorry, but it's just something that I'm not personally, like, I think they're super uncomfortable. So, it's just something I choose not to do. But by all means, if you're a lash person, go for it. I mean, I don't have the best lashes in the world, but 
I don't know. I'm just not a big lash person. I'm going in with my Essence Lash Princess and also my Carbon Black Voluminous by L'Oreal. By all means, if you want a good drugstore mascara, I would definitely suggest this one. This one, I don't have very long lashes, but it makes them super long. I want to keep this like nice gold warm tone brown thing we got going on so of course I'm going in with my Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop on a Morphe R12 brush. Again I'm not a blush person either so by all means if you want to throw on some blush go right ahead. For lips I'm going to try this Versace oil. Everyone puts it on their lips. I think I'm gonna go in with Jeffree Star Pumpkin Pie. That makes your like, I guess I have it all over my teeth. Do you see it? That makes your like liquid lipstick slide on so smoothly. Then I'm gonna set the, my face with my, what's remaining of my Makeup Forever of Mist and Fix. That is it, my loves. I hope you enjoyed this full face first impressions type deal. I don't know what it is yet. It's just using brand new products on your first on your face. Um, I've got to say I did enjoy actually all my products. These ones weren't as like full coverage as I wanted it to be because as you can see, Drizella is still popping out. But, I mean, they're not bad. Nothing feels, like, super heavy or anything. Um, when I post this video, I will let you guys know in the comment, in the description bar, bar below how it all wore out throughout the day. So, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.